What's going on YouTube? Sacred Sage here and today I'm going to talk about wind nodes. So wind nodes can be helpful when you're trying to do a pose to well emulate or simulate wind. So I have my model already here and this is actually the finished product of this wind node. I'm going to walk through all the steps and uh, parameters of the wind node so that y'all can have a better understanding of it so this can be very fickly wind nodes can be very very tricky uh, it causes explosions very easily the best way I know when simulating is to definitely do the full simulation of uh, the bone pose but I'll get into that in a second so to create a wind node you go up to create and then uh, wind node right here and you can name it whatever you want blah 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 and a wind node pops up as you can tell right there I'm gonna go ahead and delete this because I already have one set up here so here are the basic things you need to know about wind node the start and finish of a wind node this is the start this little uh, turn that off this little circle that you see right at my Jesus all this little yellow stuff uh, this little circle that you see that's the actual start of the wind right and then when you go over here that's the ending of it right so this is where the wind is the strongest this is where it is the weakest so I have the wind node selected and we go into parameters the strength, this determines how much wind is coming from the node, starting here. The diameter, when you mess with this, you can see the diameter in that circle gets bigger and bigger and bigger, right? The fall off, how quickly it falls off. You can see how the two circles are getting bigger and closer. And in uh, the start, sorry and the length of it you can increase the length so it falls off shorter or where it starts to fall off at so pretty much like when I make a wind node the only things I mess with normally are diameter and maybe strength those two are literally the only two I mess with so once you have your wind node in place basically just the same way you move anything else there is an easier way you can actually parent the wind node to a camera and then you can just hop in the camera and move and that might be easier to navigate the wind node to where you want it but for the most part a wind node I use it for like maybe a render or two so I don't even bother so then you go to simulation, which I use DeForce Companions, but it's basically the same thing. Um, it just allows you to turn what you want on and off. So you just select there. And then here are your simulation settings. And I always have this simulate from memorized pose turned on. It just seems to work better. I always get explosions when I don't have this uh, checked and it just simulates. For some reason, it just it it explodes like every time, and then you then you just hit simulate, and it will take in the calculations and start doing its own little thing, which can you can see how the wind is starting to affect the the skirt already, and it's blowing it in this direction. Yeah, wind nodes can be very 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 helpful when you're trying to get every detail that you can out of a render I don't really use them too often they it's not like a big thing I think in my VN I might have used it a couple times because the the time it takes to simulate and set up normally doesn't outweigh time basically you can see it's starting to flatten out here. Now once it's completely done with the pose, it will really smooth it out.
This character looks like a clown in this type of clothing. Uh, so funny. Anyways, that is pretty much all it is to a wind node. There's really not too many settings to, to deal with, and it's hard to mess it up. It's actually one of the easier things, and it's not really talked about too often. You don't really uh, hear about it too often in Daz. But you can use this for all sorts of stuff. You can use it for hair, which can be a it can actually be problematic and causes a lot of explosions too. But uh, using it for hair, using it for well, pretty much anything that has a that can uh, has D force, and if it doesn't have D force, you can add it to D force. See now, it's starting to smooth out. This is the stability one. This is where the the skirt will just smooth out. But I'm gonna go ahead and cancel the simulation here. I've we watched it enough, and it doesn't change all that much. But yeah, that's that's that is pretty much it. And you can see where the it's kind of like draping off over here to the side or whatnot. Anyways, hope you found this helpful. If you did, hit that like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.